Hi everyone, Sandra from Scraps of Beauty. How are you guys? Let me just pop up my chat here. It's ra raining really bad here, and on my camera, I've tried to fix it, but I know it looks kind of blurry today. I don't know why. Hi, Ella. <laughs> Hi, Linda. Hey, Vicki. <laughs> um, I've tried to fix it. It took me almost a half hour to get on tonight, so I hope we don't have any problems. But it's really blurry. I don't know what I can do about it. I've tried to fix it. Hi, Barry. <laughs> so I have a couple things to show you before we get started. These are my cute bunnies, and I have to be careful because um, they're wet. I just put stickles on them. Can you see the um, the gold? I used the Prima, where is it? The Empress Gold. Oh, my gosh, it really is shiny. Hi. Hi, AJ. <laughs> um, but this Empress Gold by Prima, oh, my gosh. I have to, like, have it in a couple bottles. It's hard for you to see because of the glare. But it's really, really gold. These bunnies aren't cute, aren't they? So, and they just open up like that. And this I use the um, Timeless Memories from Prima. Aren't they cute? <laughs> I have a link for you guys for the bunnies. So I'll give you that tonight, um, too. Remind me to do that. Um, and then I use the little doily that I have here. Uh... Maybe change the resolution. Is that what it is? Let me see. Hold on. I tried everything tonight. I just could not get it to. Um, let's see. Hold on a second. The resolution. Um, I upgrade to medium. There. Is that better? Oh, I got to pop out my chat. Hold on. Let me see. There we go. Is that better? Mm, hi, Bunny. <laughs> hi, Gwen. Does it look clearer? It looks clearer to me. Jim had to change last night to a high resolution. Yeah, I can see that now. I wonder why. I missed your show, Gwen, this week. I'll have to go back and look at the recording. I just couldn't watch it. So now maybe you could see the gold on there. All right, so before we get that, I have a couple things to show you. I'm going to put these somewhere so they don't get wet. Yeah, I even put this paper down just to see um, if that would help. So we'll see. Um, so, you know, if you're watching YouTube, you know this is a live. I stream live on Wednesdays at 8 o'clock Eastern. Hi, Mickey. Hi, Marilyn. And so... Um, you see me talking to other people, and that's the reason you'll see me having a conversation, not with myself, of course. <laughs> um, but if you look up on YouTube, you see a lot of people are talking about pocket pay, pocket letters. So, you had some problems too? Yeah, huh. Um, so, I did my first pocket letter. My first, this one's going to Germany. So, let me see if I can show it to you with the glare. Hi, Linda. So here is my first pocket letter. It's kind of hard. Maybe I need to zoom out a little. Hold on. I have to finish this. I have a little lifesaver too. I'll have to see if I can finish it right away. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let me move you out. Let me move this out of the way so you can get a better view of it. So the pocket letters are, um, they're really ATC cards. And what it is, is you fold this up. And I can't fold mine up. I'll show you why in a minute. Um, you can't stop the scroll. AJ, on the sidebar over there, make sure that it's all the way down. And then it won't, um, it won't scroll up anymore. Thank you, Ella. Hi, very nice. So, um, and it's so that you can fit it inside the letter side. Um, and this girl, uh, Jeanette, started it. If you go on YouTube, you'll be able to find out all about it. But this is my first one that I did. And then what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to put all little trinkets inside. And this one is a tea bag. Everybody puts like a tea bag in there. You're welcome. 
um, so I'll take it out real close. So this is the front. So you can see there's my little butterfly. This is Tim's little, um, remember I got these at CHA, his new um, tattered flowers, the tiny ones. They look perfect in there. And then this is where I'm going to put my letter. So far, I don't know what you're supposed to write in the letter. So that's the only thing I don't have done is the letter. And then this one has a little fairy. And then I put the Prima Fairy in there. And then there's some more of those cute little roses. And then this is where my tea bag will go. So this one comes out. I have the stamp. And then I get the directions how to do the, uh, the tea. And I put a little teacup in there. And then I have the tea in the back. And can you see what it says? It says a little cup of friendship with a bag of tea. When you drink this, think of love for me. <laughs> Thank you. Very nice. So I slipped that in there. And then I did this one with the little birds. And there's little tiny birds on here. You can probably see it too well. And then this one. These bottom ones were pretty much, this is the paper line. So I really didn't do too much to it other than I had a flower on here. And I just added some pearls here. Isn't it cool? I really do like them. I mean, they're pretty cool. And then this one, I just tied some ribbon around and added the stick pins. Thank you, Ella. And then I just put a little heart sticker on there. And then this one was so pretty, I didn't really want to cover it up, so I just put a tiny little bow on that one. So let's see if you can see that. You love the little tea poem? And so then this is the back. So the back I did a long teacup, um, and I don't want to bend it, so I might send mine only like this. I know you're supposed to send it like letter size, but I'll probably send it like this, um, because I don't want to ruin this, cups. And then um, I, I actually put the bling on the outside of the, um, of the baseball cards. And that looks like there's tea. And then I actually put the bling on this side. And even on this side, I added the heart. So you can see when I pull this one out. You see the hearts stay on the um, on the ATC. And then I bought, I gave her some washi tape. Um, I'm supposed to put like little trinkets in there. So I have washi tape in mine. And some of them. I have a washi tape. I have some pearls. Oh, let me see what else. Put that back in there. And then these always come out. So I put this cute little bird thing just to hold this one. This one's the one that seems to um, come out a lot. The other two seem to stay okay. Um, so then the back. And then I um, use some rub-ons. You can see that there's little rub-ons there. The letter is just about yourself. Oh, so I could just say, hi, I'm Xandra from New Jersey, and that's it. And put it in there. <laughs> uh, I hate talking about myself. <laughs> Thank you, Vicki. I have my first one. So I thought, I think it came out pretty good. And then there's just some flowers behind here and some leaves. And then I added some more of those little bird jolies on there. And then this is some ribbon, some cup ribbon. And then behind here, I have the pearls. So, so it's pretty good. I just have to write the letter and then I can send it off. So, so then, um, and then what I did was in case, um, she wanted to know what the paper line was, I took the zip strip or the, you know, the bottom of the strip. And this one is the title of it is montage. And this is from, um, Blue Fern Studios, this paper line. Except this is a DCW, um, I think it was called Garden Tea. So I kind of mixed a little bit of both. Right about my Ustream show? <laughs> I probably do a YouTube tomorrow on it just so I could say my first pocket because it seems what everybody's doing. So um, so that's what I'll do. But yeah, I really, she really want, uh, her colors were tur turquoise, pink, and gold. So I gold um, leaf all the, um, the outside of it. Hi, Cindy. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah, I think you can. I love the paper. The paper's just so pretty. So it really did. So I like it a lot. So so that'll go off to her. And then let's see what else. So for those of you who weren't here last week, we're going to do a couple more box cards. So this is the one. And they go, they lie flat like this in an envelope. And then they, thank you, thank you, AJ. Um, and then they stand up like that. So 
So this is the one with the little fairies. Oh my gosh. And I have to go back. I never go and watch my videos. And I was like, of course, I'll tell you my beauty secret last week. If you, if you watch the, um, if you watch my show last week, I gave away my beauty secret. And I wanted to know how you guys found out. Nobody said anything. But now I know. All I had to do was this. Hi. And that's how you find out my beauty secret. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was just like. And so this is the one that um, has the spaceship and it flies. Oh, he's stuck. So he, so you can see that he spins little spaceship dangles thank you <laughs> so and that's for my nephew I have to give that to him this week but that's how you saw saw it bunny <laughs> you guys didn't tell me oh my gosh that was hysterical I just couldn't believe it and then this one's a mermaid and then you can see it has little beads and stuff like that there and then this one is with Tim's new dye with the world you never noticed that. How did you know them, Bunny? That was the only way I could. I was like, how did they know? Because I went to watch to see if maybe I bent my head down and you saw it. And I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, that's the way you must have known. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was funny. That was funny. And then this was one I made for Gabby for St. Patrick's Day. It always gets caught in her little tail. So that's one I told you. I know, but I don't know how it, how I told you because somebody must have said something. Oh, are you are you did? I don't, I watched the video and I didn't see it. Yes, I told you my secret. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was like how did they know that? And then this is the little baby one. I love that one. <laughs> All right, so tonight. We're going to do the little bunnies, and we're going to do a couple more box cards. So I think we're going to do the bunnies first. Hi, Sophie. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I, I had a laugh, like, even the next day I was laughing about it. <laughs> so I'm going to put a link, and this is not my um, pattern. So this pattern, it's a bunny card, a bunny rabbit card by this girl, Jennifer Snyder. <coughs> And you can print it out on your 8.5 by 11 size paper. And she says the envelope size for this card will be 5 by 7. And the link I'm going to show you. Hi, Aunt Maggie. And for those of you who... Hi, Pam. Um, for those of you who are watching on YouTube, I'll link the link below so that you can um, do it. And she shows a nice video of the version she did. Like she did the eggs and she made... She actually put like two of these together and made like a little mini album. So, um, you can see how she did hers, and then uh, we're going to do mine uh, the way I did mine. So, let me put that link in for you. So, there it is. I could probably should pause the, um, can I pause it? So, you'll be able to pause it there. So, the link is um, discovery slash hoppy. Hoppy, cute card, bunny card. I will put the link, it's just too long, with surprises inside. And it also comes with a video, so you can see um, how she decorated hers. Hers is really cute. Hers is kind of like shabby chic, and um, she put the little eggs on there. So, um, but we're going to do um, mine tonight. And I did it with the, um, yeah, they are cute, aren't they? Um, I did it with the Prima Timeless, um, Timeless Moments. <clears throat> um, so what you're going to need is you're going to have to cut your, your pattern, your little bunny. And I did mine already. Let me find mine. So I have this one. Two of them. And this one. Is the chat still going? It should go. <coughs> Let me see. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah. So, I guess I should wait for you guys to go go over there, check it out, and then come back. <laughs> so, I did one because I have nephew. This is in blue. And then this one is in pink on the inside. Because all of the timeless, um, I think it's timeless moments, isn't it? Um, it's like solid on one side and... 
Of course, this one doesn't say. Uh, if you have the A4 pad, the A4 pad will, will look perfect for um, for this too. But um, I did mine on the 12 by 12. Of course, I don't know where mine is now. You're all checking out the buddy. That's what I figured. <laughs> all right, you have to come back now. You can watch it later. <laughs> That's why I was debating. I probably should have made you wait. I should have made you wait and then put the link up. <laughs> but her bunny's really cute, isn't it? With the little eggs and then she puts the little pockets. It's really cute. Um, so we're going to do ours tonight. And I'm actually going to put some texture paste. And let's get, uh, let me see. I have my, I don't know where my mat is. I'm just going to use some wax paper. I can find it. Uh, hold on, I'm looking for my wax paper. I thought I took it out. You're back? Okay, good. <laughs> Should I wait for everybody else to be back? <laughs> oh, I want to see my wax paper. Like I said, I'll have it linked at the bottom of the... Um, and I'll put it on my blog tonight, too. Um, so if you missed it in the chat, you can go back and look at it. Okay. So I'm going to use the Prima um, stencils. Let me just move some of this out of the way. You both marked it to watch it good later. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take both of my, and I only did one side. You could do both sides with the texture paste, um, but I'm only doing one. I think I'll leave it like this, like I fit them both on there. So let me just get my stencil out. I'm fine, huh? I have like such a little space. It's like, where is all my stuff? Here it is. So now you could use any mask, of course, to do these, but the one for that I use, I use this one. And also this one I thought would be cute too, kind of with the circles. But I'm gonna go with the basket weave, you know, for Easter. So what I did was I just tried to get them both in here, one sideways, one forward, so that looks good. We need a palette knife. Hi, Lana! <laughs> How are you? I'm going to be in Pennsylvania. Are you going to be there? We're doing a cute little bunny card. Where are my bunny cards? And I, I put the link up. Yay, we're finally off on Wednesday. So this is a cute little bunny card that we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> um, so. And I'm using the Prima. Um, this one's called the basket. Yeah. So we're just going to take some of this. And then you're just going to, and I did the whole thing. At first, I was just going to do little bits and pieces here, but I wind up doing the whole thing. And then I think we'll put some um, of that liquid applique on the tail on, on these two. Let's get them cute little fluffy tails. And I just want to scrape off most of that and put that back. Oh, I don't think I brought any baby wipes up here. Oh. <laughs> I 
Yeah, in Pennsylvania, they have um, the stamp show this weekend. So my girlfriend and I were going to head up there on Saturday. Oh, too bad, Aunt May. Just watch the recording, okay? <laughs> you can't make it. You're still packing? Oh, my gosh. She's so lucky she's going to Florida. She sold her house, and she's going. <laughs> I just want to clean off my knife. And then you want to lift this up carefully. And then we'll have to dry these. So then I just want to scrape off any excess that I don't want. Let me put that there. Oh, no, I don't need that. Let me just clean this off as much as I can. I thought I had my baby whites up here, but I must have left them downstairs. Let me just swap that. You get your eggs nation. Oh no. That's good though. That'll be exciting. Will you be um where are you in the middle of Florida or where are you in Florida? Yeah, you have four inches. <laughs> Yeah, we're supposed to get some, I think we'll get one more time of snow. Hopefully that'll be it. All right, so I just want to get most of this off, and then I can wash it later. Get this out. Yes, I'm going there afterwards to the fair, yep. I've never been to the fair there. So it should be fun, right? It's supposed to be cold, though. I think it's like 38 degrees or something. It's going to be freezing. Lakeland. Oh, okay. More southwest. Yeah, that's we want to go towards that way. Towards Venice, Pensacola, down that way. All right, so let's dry these. He got Keep going. <laughs> yeah, she says she'll probably be warm. Yes, she will. Freezing. Okay, they're still a little bit wet, and I got. I have to get some. I got some on my computer, so let me get that off. I know, it's freezing up here anymore. It's terrible. I want to go too. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta get off my computer. Okay. <laughs> it's true, it's like I'm always freezing. It's like my legs are hurting me, it's cold and damp. Oh, terrible. I can't wait to go. <laughs> All right, so now we need another piece of, so once I did that, I have it all dry, and you could use anything really, um, then I'm going to go over with um, some distressing. This 
one's still wet. Let me just dry them just a little bit more. I don't get that all over my pad. <laughs> I know, down here it's freezing. Peek on. Hi, Gwen. Thanks for coming. Okay. All right. So then once we have that done, I'm going to take, um, I took my seedless preserves, um, vintage photo, and peel paint. My room took six 15 boxes by 15 boxes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> took 60. Oh my gosh. I don't even want to think about it. I'm still unloading my stuff. <laughs> All right. Oh, I need my pink green. Okay, Miki. Thanks. Pink, gray, and we need a uh, vintage photo. This one. I know, where does it all come from is true. <laughs> so what I did was I just um, took my seedless preserves. Can you guys see or do you want me to come in a little bit more? Let me see if I can bring in one more. Nope, wrong way. <laughs> There we go. Let me move this up a little and that up there. And then you're just gonna, I just came in from the side. I just picked the purple and green because it, you know, cause um, Easter. So I just kind of just randomly did the purple. And then I'm going to go within with the seedless paint. I mean, sorry, pale paint. <laughs> What was that? Mm -hmm. Any paper is heavy. Yeah, that's true. All the paper is heavy. And then I'm just coming to come in with the green. I use the um, texture um, paste, the white crackle from Prima. But you could use gesso, or you could use any texture paste. You could I could have used this one, the texture paste from Ranger, but um, I use that one. It's supposed to have a little crackle in it, but I think that's my jar. I couldn't remember which jar I had. One jar it doesn't really um, crackle as much. Uh, you're welcome, Mindy. <laughs> so this one crackled pretty much. I don't know if you could see it, but it's it has a lot of cracks in it. All right. So then once I did that, then I went around the edges with the vintage photo. So I just want to darken the edges. And I'll show you once I, I'll do one and then you can see the difference with the other. I'm going to hold 
desk is shaking it. Just gives it kind of like a vintagey old world kind of look. And these are for my niece and nephews. They're um, older. So. so you see the difference? This is the one with the vintage photo around. And then see the difference between the inking. So it just gives it a nice finish, it, finish edge. I don't have any of the new distressed ones. I'm hoping when I go to the stamp show that maybe um, I can get the pistachio and the mermaid one. I forget what the coral one is. There's one that's coral too, isn't it? And then they should come out, well, I, they won't have that one for April out until, what, the 16th, I think. So you can just go in as much as you want, darken it however you want. There they are. And then we have to cut the ears. Aren't they cute? <laughs> cute. Mm -hmm. So we can get rid of this. I get my pattern for my ears. So I need the pink and blue. And a little pattern. Now I didn't do the eggs, um, but you know you can do. The eggs are really cute too. I might use them in the pop up. Oh! Oh, careful! Don't don't worry. It's just my box. It's fine. <laughs> I should put it on a bigger table, but all right. So we have the ears. Oh, Abandoned Carl, is that what it's called? I need a pencil. Pencil. So I need two of the green and then two of the pink. Yeah, this is the uh, Prima. I love that because it already looks like mixed media on one side. It's really pretty. So then on the inside, they're nice and plain on the inside, which is nice. I was just hoping that they have maybe distress inks, maybe a couple of, um, I was looking for the couple of dyes, you know, the um, coffee cup dye and the cup dye, those two, and I don't know, last time I got there, I, um, I bought a couple of different stamps, so we'll see. I'll just cut these out and then I ink these with the vintage photo also I think these would be cute too if you use a floral pattern and put a, a white little doily around them. I think that would be cute. Oh, I, lo I dropped my doilies down there. Well, these might not get doilies in. I'm not going to be able to reach back there now. I'll have to add them on later. 
And then you're just going to ink these. This one's the blue one. I don't have oh I have all my flowers in there too darn it I might have to go back there and get it <laughs> no no new colors of ink <laughs> I just I don't know I just haven't um I real I I don't know I just those I have them all are those the only two I don't have of his all right so let's put these down <laughs> do you have all of his Lorraine I probably should have put this with fabric tech because it's going to be Let's see how it sticks. No. <laughs> so we have that and the pink one. <laughs> And you'll have to see which one you like it better. Oh, my other pink one. Where'd it go? There it is. Hi, Susan. Oh, you have the other two on order? Yeah, I don't have any of them. New ones. I was hoping. I really didn't want to buy them in the big... Um, in the big pads. I wanted to get them in the minis, but they didn't do them in the minis. <laughs> yeah, I wanted that too. Yeah, me too. That would have been nice. Okay, we have that. So here's my dilemma now. My whole box fell behind the... I don't know if I'm going to be able to reach it. My eyes are back there. My little doilies. So, let's see. So we have this one. So the little doily has to go back here, which I'm not going to get to because it's behind my table. So now we need to put the little eyes on here, and that's also behind my table. This is a pain. I don't think. All right, you have to hold on. <laughs> you have them coming, Barry? That's good. All right, hold on. I'm going to have to see if I can reach. If I can reach those. At least some of the things that are in there. Oh, I gotta move everything. Hold on. <laughs> there goes another bag. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to reach it. Let's see. Oh. Of course, it's like, you know, way at the other end here. Then I can get it. It's like moving, like moving a whole thing here. Hold on. because my card was back there too. Hold on. Sorry. <laughs> Let's see if I can get in there. <laughs> like I do. <laughs> move one more thing and then I can maybe get there. Some of it anyway. 
Hold on. <laughs> I'm coming. That's one. I just gotta reach the other thing. Oh my god. only knew. Finally. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. We have our other cards to work on anyway. <sighs> but I still didn't get my little... Oh yeah, I did. I saved one of them. Luckily, one... Yay, we have them both. <laughs> Were you think of the minis for cops? Yeah, that's why I got the minis. Oh, my camera's all messed up. Why didn't you tell me, girls? I need a shovel. You're right, funny. <laughs> I do. If I had my broom, it would have been a lot better to reach. But, <sighs> okay. So, now I want to... <laughs> Oh my gosh. I just want to distress some of this on here. Oh, that's unbelievable. <laughs> you love witch dye. This little dye? This one is the little doily. It's from Echo Park. And it's got tiny little hearts. Yep. It's Echo Park. Um, it's called a heart doily die. It's very, it's very small. It's only like two and a half inches. No, almost three. Probably two and three quarters. <laughs> oh, the com stamp. I bought that a long time ago. Where'd that go? I don't even know where it is now. <laughs> All right. So that's the blue one. Yeah, that one I don't know where I got. I don't even know where it went off to. It must have flew somewhere. Do you see it? I don't even see it here. <laughs> she says no way when she thought she didn't need anything else. They're very cute. <laughs> I'm, I'm terrible when it comes to dyes. I just love dyes. Doily ones especially. So anything that's cute and little, that's me. My gosh, it's really raining. Okay, so I'm going to just add this here to the his little rump here. <laughs> That's right, Bunny. She says, ship it to the new location. <laughs> and then I'm going to do this pink one. You too? Yeah, I'm a, I love dyes. It's terrible. I really do. I read one. Somebody's blog. I don't know what her name was. I think it was Pam. I'm not sure. Pam something or other. She counted all her dyes, and she had over a little over 800 dyes. I don't know if I have that many. I hope I don't have that many. <laughs> and she said that on her blog she was going to use one every day until she used each one of them once. <laughs> All right. And then we're just going to trim this. 
How do I get in? That one. <laughs> and then on these, I think I'm going to use a liquid applique. So let's try it. See how it works. And then I'm going to take my vintage photo and then go back over in here. Oh, Husby said, already notify UPS <laughs> and tell them not to have an extra guy at your house. <laughs> All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make their tails fluffy. And this was um, liquid applique. And so then I'm just going to squirt that all over this tail here. And that one, and then this one. And you don't have to fill it all completely in, because when it puffs up, it will. Do I carry the mini? doilies the dynamics one I think I might have those Susan I love dynamic dies I have quite a bit of theirs okay heat gun heat gun Should puff up. There it goes. You see it? See it puffing up? You see it? Okay. See it? The only thing you have to remember is that once you use it, you do definitely have to let it dry for like 24 hours because otherwise it'll squish down because it has a little puffiness to it. Can you see? I think my lighting is like so bright or something. Can you see the dimension in there? There you go. You see it? Yeah, it's like magic. You're right. Oh my God. So cute. Okay. So now we need our eyes. So I want to just give them a little eye here. It would be cute if you did the white underneath. Like I could have done um, liquid pearls underneath. And then give them like that white big candy eye. So there we go. Cute. So now I'm going to take some um, of this uh, trim. The jute. This is uh, the green one. I forget what color. Sage jute. And I'm just going to wrap that around my fingers a couple times. I wish I had my wipes up here. So I'm just going to wrap that like four times. Pack up a small one so I didn't get the craft game with Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, you have to keep a little bag of something. Otherwise, yeah. And then you just want to tie this in the middle.
And then let's see if I have my glue dots. Oops, sorry, let me get rid of that. Hold on. There we go. Oh, darn it. Hold on. Every time I do something to this um, computer. I lose my chat. Ah, oh, darn it. <laughs> Hi, Jam. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I'll have to put up the, let me just put up the link again. Uh, oh, hold on. This chat in mine is like. So for those of you who are coming in late, this is not my pattern. You can, um, let me post a link where you could get, um, just bookmark it. <laughs> And you can go watch. She has a little video, and she did hers. Um, she actually added um, a couple of bunnies in here, made a little um, a little mini album like, and then she has these Easter eggs that go along with it. So I'm just showing you the way I did it tonight. And I need my fabric tack. So then I just um, tied the jute, and then I'm just going to add some flowers around there. So I'll just add that on there like that. And then a couple of flowers. Grab the white. And a purple. So all I do is just twine this up. One there. Well, I have a little charm too, but I think those, oh, here they are. They fell off to the side. They're just little hearts and they say love on them. They love the, Lorena loves the bunny butts. <laughs> so then I'm just going to twirl this around. green and we need purple so then I'm just going to add these on here I have my glue dots, which I don't know where they are. I would just do, put them with on with a glue dot. She's going crazy with all the boxes. <laughs> She's like, what are you doing to my routine? It's true. It's going to be a big change for her. Lily is her dog. Cute little dog. I have that. And then I'm going to... Where my glue dots are? Hold on, I've got them. Yeah, her little doggie is so cute. Cute little white dog, Maltese. She's a Maltese, right? So, now I'm just going to put a couple of glue dots and then stick this right underneath there. Oops. I changed glue. Well, I guess it's not going to hold with that. So there we are. That's the card. And then I um, put some stickles on here. That's what I did on this one. 
And then we're going to spray them with the gold. Can you see the gold on there? Yeah, there you go. So we'll spray them up. Yeah, she's so cute. Oh my gosh, I love Maltese. My two are part Maltese. All right, so then we have to fix this one up. We'll do the same thing. My one, she'll love it because it's nice and hot, but the other one, she doesn't like, she loves the snow. So when we go to Florida, she's not going to be happy. <laughs> Again, I'm just going to tie this in the middle. She can be witchy sometimes. I don't believe it. A Maltese being witchy? I don't believe it. <laughs> oh, I can't tie it. Ah, oh, darn. There we go. Finally. Do I take my dogs with us like on vacation, you mean? No, not on vacation. If it's like a weekend thing, um, yeah, we do. But like not for like a couple weeks or a week, no. All right, so I'm going to put some more glue on this one. And then I'll put a glue on this one. And then again, I'm going to wind these um, up. one. No, and they're not going to like it either because they have a big giant yard right now, so they just kind of go out whenever they want to go out. They're not going to be too happy. <laughs> that, and then a purple one. Yeah, because they have their like their favorite chair, and we're not taking any furniture with us when we go back. Hopefully, okay. There we are. So there is our cute little bunnies, and these have the tails um, with the liquid applique. So you can see this one. Oh, we have to spray them still. See. This one doesn't have a, the tail, and this one does. Yes, hopefully we're going to move. Um, we'd like to put the house up um, <clears throat> in May, and then hopefully so it gets sold right away, and we can move, like, um, I think it's September. <laughs> Wishful thinking. <laughs> um, but, yeah, we want to go down towards St. Petersburg. All right, so let's um, spray these. Let me move all this stuff out of the way. And then we'll do our box cards after this. We'll start them anyway. So, let's do this. They are cute bunnies, aren't they? <laughs> so I have the link. Um, oh, here it is. This is the stamp you're talking about. This was done by We Are Memory Keepers, like, I want to say, like two years ago. So 
those are the eggs. Made that. And I want to empty my box here. Sprayer. Okay, so now we're going to spray these. And I'm going to spray, I think I'm going to do both. I'm going to do a little bit of the tea stain. Lakeland is about 45 minutes from St. Petersburg. Hey, yay, that would be nice. <laughs> yes, I'm going to be on the golf side too. So I'm going to spray a little bit with the tea stain. Let's dry that first before we put the other one on. And it's just a very slight um, heat gun. And when you see the gold now, I don't, you can't really see the tea stain so much. It has a little bit of shimmer, but not a lot, but a little bit. And once we put the gold on here, oh my gosh, the gold is like really nice. So this is the Empress Gold. Okay, so here it goes. And that's all you need is just two little squirts. Okay, the heat gun. I think in the box you can see how much gold there. Do you see how? Um, cause you don't really see it on the bunnies, but there's tons, of, tons of gold. Do you see all the gold here? The gold is really, really nice. They love that. Bye, Pam. Thanks for coming. But don't they look cute? Oh my gosh, they're so cute. And then later on tonight, I'll put the stickles on the ears. But then you can make yourself, too, like a little mini album. Like she actually um, put a couple of these in between here and decorated them. Um, but they're so cute. Um, all right, so let's clean this up. And then we will go on to our box cards. So and just have to remember, if you're going to use this liquid applique, oops, um, you just want to make sure you don't put anything heavy on them. Um, they're so cute, 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 cute. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, very nice. Thank you, guys. <laughs> All right. So we have those done. So now we're going to do our box card. So I was thinking we sh could take, let's take, this is the pattern of the egg. Oh, and I have my white paper over there, don't I? I'm trying to see if I can. So I have already cut out um, a piece. And so if you want to um, fit this into a five by seven envelope, what you need is a piece that's 10 and a half inches long. And this one I only did six inches because I wanted to get um, two out of one. Um, thanks guys. Um, so, but usually I do six and a half, but I think what I'm going to do is, um, I'm just going to trim. I'm going to put a little piece of trim on the edge of the here and, um, do six and a half, but you don't have to, but I'm thinking we could do a cute little bunny. Um, just use the egg pattern that they have and then just a circle. So let's do that. I hope I have enough out of this plain white. So this is the egg pattern. So what you're going to do is you're going to copy this.
let's cut that out. So it's going to fit in our window like that. And then we need a circle. So let's see how big of a circle I need. Probably this is just the inside of a um, roll of tape, scotch tape. So this is about an inch and a half circle. So let's do that. I don't have a punch here that I would do it. So I'm just going to guess. So we're going to cut that out. Oh my God, <laughs> she says her boxes of um, craft items, ah, was, like I'm not paying attention, was 60, 60 large boxes and her husband's clothes fit in one box. <laughs> so there we go. So we have that and that. And then we're going to use the same ears. Where's the pattern for the ears? Oh, let's have to cut them alone. Where is my little pattern for the ears? Hold on, look and look and look and here it is. And you could do this out of mulberry paper. You could even use um, Deco Edge uh, would look really good with this, um, with your little bunny. So we're going to cut two ears. Yeah, my husband can't really complain. He has a, um, a t-shirt business that he does, and he has as many as many boxes probably that I will have. So, <laughs> so we have one ear there. air there. So what we're going to do is just ink these. I'm just going to ink them in the brown. And I have some grass too somewhere. Yeah, I can't imagine packing it up because right now I'm still, still unloading it. <laughs> and it's like unbelievable, really. <laughs> so I am going to pretend that he is facing that way. So actually I'm going to put a little, um, a little thing for his, a little cotton tail. If I had one of those pom-poms, I would put that. But what we're going to do is we're going to pretend that his ears are, that he's facing backwards, like. <laughs> I know, it's so hard to pack up everything, isn't it? I mean, all the closets have to be cleaned out. Oof, I don't even want to think about it. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe we should bend one of these ears. I have to erase this though. Yeah, the declutter, it's true. It's true, it is. It's a lot. So, this is the inside of the ear, so we gotta. So, we have that. 
So that's going to go inside our little oval like. And then we need to put some grass, which I thought I had here somewhere. Let's see. Here it is. So what I'm going to do now, what we're going to do. Oh, I didn't tell you how to score these, so let me tell you that. <laughs> you should be packing. <laughs> oh, thank you. She said she just wants it's first time. I think this is your first time here, isn't it? She always watches the recording. <laughs> okay, so let's do this again. So you need a piece that's ten and a half inches long, right? And then either six and a half or six inches. If you want to get two out of one sheet of um, 12 by 12, then you're going to cut this six inches. And then I'll probably put a quarter inch decorative board around here and here. <coughs> and then what you're going to do is you're going to put this on your scoreboard. Let me show you that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to score at the four, four inches. Then you're going to score at five inches. Then you're going to score at nine inches, and then at ten inches. So again, so it's ten and a half by this is six, but I usually go six and a half. And then again, you're going to cut out whatever your middle is that you want to cut out, and then you're going to score at four, score at five, score at nine, and then score at ten. Oops. That out of the way, and then we're just going to crease these. And it's always good to have double sided paper for these, um, so then you don't have to worry about covering the inside. So, I think I'm going to, um, I think I'm going to put the plaid on the outside. These have tiny little chicks. I'm going to go the other way around. And I want to put a decorative board on mine, so let's see. Hopefully, I have a thick enough paper here. I do. So I want to. I'm going to punch a border. So go ahead. I have a border punch here. Here we go. So I'm just going to use this doily one that I have. And then I'll have to rescore these two again. Make sure I get that. A lot of stuff. Okay, so this is going to be my front. I want to make sure my chicks are. Yeah. So I'm going to put this at the very top. So let me get my score tape. I know, I'm giving a, this girl who um, has a school, um, and she, aside, she comes against all my stuff. I have to meet with her tomorrow. This is like the fourth time I am putting stuff in my trunk for her, and I still 
don't have my scrap room cleaned out. Terrible. <sighs> oh no, Sophie, you're back again. Good. All right, so I'm going to go right up to here. Make sure it's all nice and even. Oh, I should have cut a strip of this. Girl, why didn't you tell me? Darn it. To cut this first. Don't rip. There we go. I want to cut this first. Hello. <laughs> the mother load I know that's what happens all right so I'm gonna just put this off of here and now I'm gonna put this on there <laughs> now we can put this back on off. I'm actually going to cut this off at, we don't really need to go all the way up because that's getting tucked in. So there we go. So we have that. So now I'm just going to have to score this again. I'm going to trim this little piece off right here. And then we're going to put our score tape in here. But see now when you do this, you have to be wary that when you cut something out in the middle, if it hangs out here in the, see like when I put that together, that little piece right there. So I'm just going to mark that with my pencil. So then I know that I have to cut this out. So I'm just going to come in here and just do a little bit of a, just cut that out just like that. Can you see? Just, just a little curve like that. And then I'm going to have to, I have this, I have a little bit, I should have came down a little bit more. So I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to add some powder or something or my thing's going to get caught when I go to close it. You want to make sure you don't have any glue coming um, down because when this closes, it'll just stick. <laughs> you're glad you're not alone? <laughs> That's true. Okay, there we go. I'm going to need my knife, I think, to cut this off. Hopefully that won't stick. We'll see. All right. So see how cute that's going to look? That's going to come along just like, just like that. And then I'm going to put another strip here at the bottom, but I'm not going to um, use a doily. I'm just going to cut a strip. I'm going to use a 1 8 because um, I just want a little piece hanging out. So hopefully I have my 1 8 in here. Okay. No. So you know what I'm doing? I'm just going to run a bead of glue on the bottom. I have collections of everything too. I have the little Swarovski crystals. I have Gabby's Barbies. Oh my gosh, I don't even want to think of what's up in the attic. <laughs> okay, 
and I have that, and I just want to have this come, just hang out just a little bit. There we go. Let's trim this off. And then we need to run tape along the out one side. Oh no, there we go. <laughs> Do you remember Beanie Babies? I had a whole bunch of Beanie Babies too. And when, when I had my garage sale, a teacher came and she was going to buy. She was picking through, um, through what see she gives them to her kids or whatever. And I just gave her the whole box. It was just like, just take them. <laughs> so now I want to make sure that I. Well, I have to trim this just a little bit more on this side. Let me take that tape off. What's that? Have we most of us border on hoarders? Yeah, that's true. All right, and then I just want to refold this. So there, that, that, and that. All right, so now we're going to run, I can take this off actually, this one side. I'm going to run um, tape along the outside here. You can part with the Beanie Babies. <laughs> Oh, except for the bears. I have a few. I love my bears. Um, the ones, remember when they came out with the angel ones? They had angel wings. I have that. I didn't give that one away. I have a few of them. Princess Diana. I forget which other one. Right. So in this one, I'm going to have to cut this off here. So you can get as fancy as you want with these box cards. So there we go. So now we'll be able to and re ready to close it. But see how cute? Now it has a little white trimmer here at the bottom, and then it's got the little doily at the top. So now what I want to do is I want to put some grass in here. So what I'm going to do now is our bunny is going to go in here like this. And we're going to put that one on some foam dots. Let's put that on there now. That, and then I'm going to put the on the ears. Yeah, you know, I was going to donate them to um, the hospital too. My sister works in the hospital, but they won't take um, they won't take the stuffed animals. I guess for germs or I forget what. But um, otherwise, I would have given them. Ah, I would have given them to her. Let's see if I get rid of that. All right. So then my little bunny's gonna sit there like that. So I am going to put this one down. And I probably should do the little tail first. So let's do that first before we put it down. So I'm gonna put a bunny tail at the back here. Dust and allergies, right? Yep. Shoot, they wouldn't take them. Like they were brand new too. Okay, heat gun. Heat gun.
Cute little tail. <laughs> Nursing homes say that too. Yeah, that's too bad. Need to pick up Poppy. Okay, Ella. Thanks. Ella will be on um, next Monday. Is that right, Ella? On Scrappy Dab Do's channel, be her first time um, doing her mini album. All right. So now we want to put this down. I want to make sure that I get this right in the middle where I want it. Sometimes the police department will take them, yeah. I'll peel this off. Alright, I just want to make sure that we set that right down there. Look cute. And then we want to get our grass in here. So for our grass, I want to make sure that I connect it. So I'm going to tear it right here. So I want the grass to be like puffed up. 11 o'clock Pacific. Okay, Ella. Yep, she'll be on Scrappa Dabba Doo's channel. Oh, April 6th on Scrappa's channel. She's doing her first mini, right? So what I want to do is I want to put this on here like that. So I'm going to crease this like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to add that to the side here. So I'm going to add some glue on here. And I'm going to put it right like that. Ugh. This paper is a little slippery. I probably should have used a um. Yep, I will be on at eleven Pacific, and so that's twelve one two o'clock. Like when? Two o'clock um. Eastern. All right. So then you see how that sticks out. So do you see it comes out like this? It's not really completely attached. Yeah, eleven a.m. Pacific. It's two Eastern. And then so now I want to make sure that I have four inches. So I'm going to crease it right here. So let me cut this part off. And then I'm going to add some on this side. So I'm going to make sure it's four inches. Could it be down a little bit more? I'm going to have to trim this a little bit more. Yep, April 6th. Got ya. Alright, so now I want to make sure that this one comes up on here. Yes, Easter Monday. Correct. So do you see how that leaves a space now? Because I put it a quarter of an inch in. And then when it folds, it'll fold like that. And then see this one has a little ladybug, so I'll go in with red stickles then and put that in. So oh, and it covers her little tail though. Well, you kind of can see it. So we have that. And then I want to add one more row. Oh, didn't come out. I'm gonna put it down just a little bit. I'm gonna put another row of um, grass. I'm going to do the same thing, and I'm going to put that down lower. So I'm going to put that here. I'm going to make sure I cut the four inches this time so I have it right. Four inches and four inches here. I'm going to put tape on this one this time. Oops. Yeah, the grass, it just makes it pop and makes it like three-dimensional. 
And then what I want to do is I'm going to put tape on here. So I'll show you too. Um, so now on this grass here, you see I bent it back, and this grass going to bend these forward. Of course, I put it on the wrong side. <laughs> Darn it. Ugh. Yep, blades of grass, yep. So I'm going to bend these back. Why does it keep doing that? No, oh, I had it right. Bend it forward. I had it right. <laughs> but I need to put the tape on the inside. So the inside here. Tape on there. Tape on there. Then we could put some jelly beans in the grass. So I have that on there. So now I'm going to put this on this fold. Oh, did I do the same thing? Oh my gosh. I put the grass on the wrong thing. Ah. <laughs> Bye, Ella. <laughs> I have it on the wrong side again because this has textured on one side this grass so I want to make sure I have the textured side of course I put it on the wrong side again okay it's going this way so I want the grass to go that way it's okay so tape on this side <laughs> on the inside like I had it <coughs> <coughs> Oh, that's good. The grass gives you an idea for an upcycle project. Good challenge. <clears throat> so we have that and this. Okay. So I'm going to take this off. <clears throat> and now I'm going to put it on this side. And then take this one off. And put it on that side. So there we go. So we have two rows of, of grass. Do you see it there? One is attached to the back end and one is attached to the front end. Front, back. <coughs> so now we have our two different grasses, just like that. And now what I'm going to do is take this tape off. I'm going to make sure that this lays, you want to make sure that this lays flat. <coughs> Forget. Ah, make sure it's straight. There we go. So now, well, now see, remember I have to get my tape. Oh, I got my blade stuck in there. Ah, there we go. Okay. So now we'll lay flat in the envelope like that. And then it stands up just like that. You see the little bunny in the grass? And then I'll put the little red um, stickles for Ladybug. There's one there and one there. And then <coughs> add some Easter eggs, little Easter eggs that we could put in the grass. And then the inside here, what I'm going to do is put this on the back. And then I can write my little saying on there. So let's ink this. <coughs> I think I'll do it with the purple. Thanks, bunny.
Oh, so I do the outside of it. This is tree and a large hole in the forest. Oh, that would be cute. Yeah, you could do all that. But these are for my nephews and nieces, and they'll just go like this and then pull out the little gift card and say, Here you go. <laughs> so. <coughs> So I can either um, so I'll do that because I do put a little gift card in the back here. Do I have my gift card here to show? No. <clears throat> but what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put this like this. So I'm going to um, just glue at the bottom here so that I can fit either money or a gift card. Oh, I forgot to close it. Yeah, this is where I cut the, this was the front of the card, and then you could cut whatever, you know, image, you know, that you want. You could just even do a square. If you don't have any dies, you can just cut a rectangle out. And then I usually, use, either I'll put it in the back of this, or I um, wrap it like this one I'm going to wrap, and then leave enough space that I could stick a gift card in here. So I'm going to glue all this and down in here. So I'll just... And it's going to glue it just like that and then leave room for the gift card. And I'm actually going to go off of here a little bit. And I'll still have room to put the gift card. And then I usually decorate the, um, the back too. Like I put a little flower or something like that on the back. Just make sure I have that down. Hold on one second. Yo. And then you have to make sure you're going to crease this one again. So this one's got to get creased. So there we go. And then I still have a little pocket here that I can fit the gift card or whatever I want. And then I'll write my sentiment down here. But then come out cute. <coughs> I wish I could find my little Easter eggs. And then I have a little ribbon. Let's see if I put this ribbon on here. This is cute with the little Easter um the little Easter bunnies. I had another one with like carrots but I don't know where it is right now. <laughs> but I probably will put a piece of ribbon down in the bottom here. But you can fix these up any way you want now. It came out cute. You guys have any questions? And I'll probably go in here. Stickles. I had another one. Let's see if I have another one that we can do really quick. And... Here's another one I did. And um, when you do the six and a half, then you have a five and a half. That's what this is. One, two, three, four. Five and a half. So this is the leftover piece. Thanks, Lorena. So it's the same thing. You can see how different. Like, so that one's that one. And I did the same thing. I still cut it at four inches at five, nine, and ten. <clears throat> and this one I did um, like an Easter egg shape. I'm going to put my, rib, my um, tape in here. Oh, thank you. Yeah, the cards come out really cute. So then I put my tape in there. And on this one, I'll probably put a little Easter egg. Let's see if we can do a little Easter egg. And see if I need more of that paper I could cut out. So this one I'll probably put also a thing of grass. And then I'll probably put an Easter egg in one of my Terra Bear bunnies that come through here. And then fill that card up like that. It is cute, isn't it? Do you guys have any questions? Did you want to see any other ones?
they're cute aren't they so it's like you can make you know a lot of them I think it would be cute for Mother's Day if we did a um, oval and then you just did flowers and butterflies coming through here and they're you know really simple like I said I take my Jolie's that's how I did um, this one here is just all with just Jolie's this one is um, it had the spaceship and it had that and the robot and then this was a birthday one and then you could have them hanging like that like I'll do a, probably a birthday one um, uh, like a number 25 and then have it like hanging so yeah they're really cute and they're I think they're pretty easy I, I don't, you know you can go as elaborate or as you know as skimpy as you want like even this one this one really all it is is just one of the dot just the die cut in the middle the world and just the airplane <coughs> and then I just stuck the other part of the airplane in the back can I do a tear bunny yes I was looking for my tear bear paper um, if I have it I can do it real quick and show you let me see if I can get a piece. Let me run, let me just get a piece and I'll show you real quick. It'll take like, oh, here it is right here. I have my paper here. Good. So all you're going to do is, and I do sell the pattern on my blog if you're interested in, it comes with all the uh, different critters on there. But what I'm going to do is, let me show you. I take a pencil so when I do a bunny it's kind of more like you could do it with a circle like this it's hard to see with the pencil but I do more mine more like a pear shape so something like that think of the two big whiskers part of the bunny and then just kind of like an oval like almost another circle so let me cut it out real quick and I'll show you. Oh, I wish I had another. This is not really that good. So, and it's hard to see with this white. Can you see it there? So it looks like three little bumps. I have a water pen here. Water pen. There we go. And then you just want to go like around. Yes, the world die is a t new Tim Tim die. So so there's the shape of the bunny right there like that and then I take you want to put two circles here for his like cheeks so what I'm going to do is I need a bigger piece probably this will do I'm going to make two circles now this one's too big there we go So there's one circle and another circle. And I'm just going to go around that, wet it, and around this one. Just thinking of it like circles. This could be almost like a pear shape. Bye! -bye. <laughs> Thanks for coming. It was great. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. So then there's the one cheek for him. And then we need to do the other one. Bye, safe travels. And there's the other cheek like that. And then I usually put little teeth. <clears throat> So I do little teeth marks like this.
You see just this the little line for his teeth. And I'm just gonna cut that here. So I'm gonna glue that down first. I need my glue stick. So you're gonna glue that down right in the middle like that. And then you could put a pop dot for each side, but I just use my little scraps that I have to raise it up because if you put it without the pop dots, it's so flush to his face. Let's see if you can see it. It's so flush to his face, you can't really see him. So you need to raise them up. So I use just my scraps that I have here. <clears throat> Like that. So there's one there. <clears throat> and one there. And I usually take thread and make whiskers, which I don't have the thread up here. Um, so you, can you see there now? There is his little cheeks. Can you see? His little cheeks there. And then I usually do a pink little nose for him. So all I do is cut out just a little, kind of like a teardrop. And before I would put this nose on, I would put thread um, to go underneath the nose. Just like that. And then for the ears, what I do is I just take something like this, like we did with the Easter, um, the regular Easter bunny. But I do mine kind of different. I do them straight like. I wonder if I can use this one. Yeah, I could use that one. So I take it and I do more of a straight, um, kind of a straight ear. It's bigger at the top and smaller. So it goes like this. So I'll just tear this. So see how it's like smaller at the bottom, a little bit bigger at the top. I stick that in there like that. So he's got two ears. So let's stick those down. And again, I'm going to put a little piece on the back of the head just to raise the ears a little bit. Bye, Cindy Lou. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for coming. So now I'm going to stick these ears here. And then you could chalk pink in the middle of those. And then my last step that I do for the ears is I do like um, an oval. So I take this and do... I'll do two ovals here. It's always hardest to tear on that straight edge there. But so what I want to do is this. And so then, see, I bend his ear. I make him come down like that. You could do him pointy like this if you want, but I just do my bunnies a little different. 
and then I put the other one down like that. And then again, see this one's a little bit bigger. I could have used this one just a little bit bigger. So let's add just a little piece on this. And make him just a little bit bigger. When I do the water pen, how do you wet it? Do you go try and wet the paper? Um, what I do is, there's, when you, you can't really see on this, if I had my other darker paper, <clears throat> you'd be able to see. I keep going back and forth. So at first I go with the stylist, and I go back and forth and make the line. <clears throat> so you see there's the line. And then I take my water pen and go back and forth four or five times back and forth and you'll see that it starts to look wet when you tear it it should tear easily like I should be able to pull these apart just like that if it doesn't if it takes a long time like you're having a hard time to do it then you need to go back and forth with the water what is that someone knew what been in. <clears throat> what is that what does that mean at the limit four five six <laughs> what does that mean So see, then I put this ear here, like this, and then I'm going to add some of this. Did I answer your question? If you have a hard time tearing, means you don't have enough water on it. So there we go. So there's the bunny, like that, and he would have whiskers. If I had my chalk, I would chalk his, um, oh good. Um, I would chalk his ear. I would chalk here a little pink and a little pink here, and then he needs eyes. I usually punch out the eyes. I don't think I have. Oh, yeah, I do. Do I have any black paper? <clears throat> I need a piece of black. Here we go. So I usually take an oval punch. And I think I have score tape on them. Oh, I don't. Oh, you're welcome. Very nice. And then you want to make sure that when you do the eyes, you don't want them to look evil. You don't want them to look like an evil bunny. <laughs> so you always want to make sure that the e the eyes are facing this way towards each other, not facing out. If they face out, he'll look like he's mean. <laughs> the cute. Oh, the keyboard. Oh, okay. And then I usually take a white pen. And draw little dots here where his eyes and sometimes I give him a little like an eyeball line so see there I give him like a little eyeball line like that and then I take black pen Let's see if these work I give him little eyebrows Oh, this one doesn't work. Let's see if this one works. There we go. Like that. And I usually outline the eye, too, because it just gives them a little more definition. And then I put little, like, smiley lines. Oh, his nose is kind of crooked. So do you see there? Just looks a little bit different. I might have to glue that down better. But then put pink on his cheeks, and you can put a little pink in here on his ears. And there he is. So I want to look cute inside that little, um, inside this little card. I'll put him with the Easter egg. So let's see. We can put him with the Easter egg, holding the Easter egg like this. I'll put two little arms. I'll put them more colorful. But then see, he's just like that. <laughs> Yeah, it does bring him to life with those. Yep, and then I just do another little circle for his um, hand. Or like an oval. And you just put that down there. Like he's holding that onto the egg. See? 
<laughs> I look cute. <laughs> All right, so any other questions? We have our little bunnies tonight. So I hope you get those a try. I'll put the link up one more time. So for those of you who missed the link, you can um, grab that. That's the link for the pattern for the little bunny and the eggs. Oh, really cute. Thank you guys. Thanks for coming. Thanks, Jenny, for hanging in there. I know she wasn't feeling too good. Barry, any other questions? No questions? The eyes are great. I love the eyes, too. They look really cute. <laughs> and when I put the little whiskers, I put long uh, white thread and put, like, whiskers. Or you could even use wire, and you can put the whiskers on there. <laughs> Any other questions? No questions? All right. Have a good weekend. Um, I'm off to the stamp show over the weekend, so then I'll hopefully have some goodies to show you next week. Um... Oh, thank you. Thank you, guys. All right. Got to get going. All right. All right. Thanks for joining me. Have a good weekend. I'll talk to you next week. Bye. Bye, Linda. <laughs> Bye, funny. <laughs>